Journey's ability to sew and finish ball caps with the optional kit. As you can see here on this finished cap done by the machine, uh, the machine has a 290 by 67 millimeter sewing field, basically translates to about 11.4 inches wide. And as you can see, that allows us to sew on both the front and the sides at the same time by about two and a half inches high. So uh, with that being said, let's, uh, go, let's uh, show how that works on the machine. Uh, first, we have the uh, optional cab driver installed onto the machine. And uh, on turning on the machine, uh, that uh, the Journey machine itself does a couple of things automatically, uh, which uh, really makes uh, ball cap sewing convenient. First, it flips the design upside down, um, since the uh, cap itself is oriented upside down onto the machines. And it also automatically displays the sewable area um, in 11 and a half by two and a half inches. You can see that sewing area. Um, that rectangular sewing area, and we can adjust the position very easily um, of our design onto here. The machine displays a visual map of that position, and you can see here that's displayed in blue, and then the sewable area in red. And by using the arrow keys, we can simply move that up and down to uh, adjust that sewing position. And you can hear in the background the machine actually moving the arm um, so that. Um, uh, what we're seeing on the screen and the reality of how it's going to sew uh, match at the same time. And that's how we can easily set that up and even automatically center it with a button or two if we need to. All right, and then finally going back out to the home screen here with a single button. We can see that position again and we can see it's ready to sew. And uh, going back out to the machine view itself, let's go ahead and install that, uh, that cap hoop onto the machine. Uh, the optional wide uh, cap uh, sewing kit um, has an open area in the front that allows us to sew again on the front and you can see there's nothing blocking it from doing the front and the sides. So we simply uh, put this onto the uh, cap driver, swiveling the bill out of the way, locking it into the tabs which hold the, which hold the cap in very uh, nicely and secure as we sew even at higher speeds up to, uh, the max, to its maximum cap sewing speed. So that's on there nice and firmly, and all we have to do is press start. And as you can see with each section, how neatly the machine sews the stitching of each uh, color and uh, nicely trims between each section before moving on. And see how neatly the stitches align as we go from section to section.